Hello everybody. Welcome back to Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Today I'm going to make um, not a, 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 a cooked meal like um, you know chicken, beef, or something like that. I'm going to make an apple galette. And what that calls for to make an apple galette, of course it calls for all-purpose flour. It calls for a cup and a half, which I already put in the bowl, and um, sugar, kosher salt, um, butter, cubed, chill, apple cider vinegar, ice water, egg. That's, that's for the egg wash. That's for after we make the dough for the crust. Um, coarse sugar for sprinkling. And, uh, and the apple filling will be granny apples that we'll um, peel, decor, and slice up. And we'll squirt a little lemon juice in there and some ground cinnamon and some sugar and some more butter. And then we'll top it off with a caramel sauce that will be made with sugar, salt, and butter and heavy cream. And uh, along with this dish, of course, you know, I always go into my researching of a topic. And the topic that I researched on so that we can talk about, and, uh, you know, it's part of the life's lesson, is self-preservation. Now, self-preservation is um, um, the protection of oneself from harm or death. Uh, especially regarded as a basic instinct in humans and animals. Most call it the survival instinct. Yes, of course, that's what we call it. You know, we see the car coming down the street, and those of us that are thinking about our personal well-being, we don't run into the street, you know. Um, I don't think kids, kids are not, this is something that you, self-preservation is something that you have to develop because you know how kids are. If they, they'll take a fork and stick it in, in the socket, not thinking about their well-being because they don't know, so they're not thinking about their well-being. And then there are some adults who um, try to defy um, uh, their safety, their well-being. Now, uh, I've already put the cup and the cup and a quarter cup of flour into the bowl. So, and I put a uh, 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 half cup of sugar in in in, in there, and oh, and let me see here. Oh, so um, I have to put. A teaspoon of salt. So we're going to put the salt in there. Now, like I said, we have the flour, we have the sugar, now we have the salt, and, and oh, oh, we got to cube this butter, cut this butter into cubes. We'll cut the stick of butter into cubes because we're going to put the butter into the flour, of course, we, and we're going to use a fork to do that. And it says eight teaspoons of butter, so that's you know that's about a full a full stick of butter. So now we I didn't cut it this way. Now I cut it down the middle, and now I cut it. Now I'm cutting it this way. So it, it is it's in it's in cubes, guys. Of course, we know that. We're going to do this in cubes. Okay, so now we have the cubes. Now we're making the, the pie dough first. Okay, we're going to, this is going to wind up being put into the refrigerator for like 30 minutes. So all we're doing right now is we're flaking, you know, um, mixing it, but... Um, using the fork so that we can have the lumps of butter that's going to be in there. You see how it's lumped? See how it's lumped? It's, it's not, you know, we're not trying, we didn't melt it down to blend it in, blend it in there. Now, 
we're going to take and we're going to put a quarter cup of cold water into this. There's your quarter cup of cold water. And of course, everybody knows that um, this, this, this lesson, this cooking lesson, we all do it together because I've, um, I've never done, made this before. So, now I believe I'm supposed to mix this with my hands. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's turning into the dough. Mm-hmm. That I can feel. It's turning into the dough. Now, as we were, as I was saying about self-preservation, self-preservation is definitely a, an important life lesson because th th that's how some people fall off from taking care of themselves. That, that's how people fall into depression because there are things that you're supposed to do to pre preserve your happiness, your well-being. And this is self-preservation is a process that you have to, you have to learn. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this, make this into a ball. Now that we have it pretty much all mixed up. Yes. I have to bring it into a ball. Oh, I should not, um, because I'm going to wrap this with saran wrap and put this into the refrigerator, like I said, for 30 minutes. So I got to take and get me a piece of saran wrap. So, and then I know in order to touch the saran wrap, I'm sure enough going to have to wash my hands off. But this turned out the dough has turned out just the way it's supposed to be. Let me make sure that I wasn't supposed to put any vinegar in this. I got the butter, sugar, salt, Yes, I do have to put the vinegar into the dough. So it's okay because it only calls for a teaspoon of vinegar and I can easily mix that into the dough. In fact, I'll do it like that. That is definitely a teaspoon. And then, oh yeah, this this, ooh, I can smell the vinegar. Oof. Okay, so now we have it the way we want. Now let me rinse my hands off so I can put this into the Get the saran wrap. That is what this is what the dough is supposed to look like. That I'm pleased with that. Now the saran wrap. Don't forget to put the vinegar into the dough, guys, because I almost forgot. You know how some ram wrap can be. But that's that. Now I'll take and put this. Yes. Now it tells, tells me to put this in the refrigerator and let cool for 30 minutes. I'm going to stick this into the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And let me 
next step will be the slicing and peeling, peeling and slicing of the apple. And of course, to save some time, I did peel some apples, make sure I have enough in here. And, I, and because I peeled them earlier, I did um, throw some lemon juice on them so that they could stay um, you know so they don't go brown some of them went a little brown inside the core but that's not poisonous or nothing like that again so this saves some time on the peeling of the apples okay and as I was saying I took, of course we're talking about the self-preservation and of course I took my notes and um, uh, it's, it's, the self-preservation is also the thought by some to be the basics of rational and logical thinking so logical thought behavior again where you know um, just don't put yourself in situations to cause hurt and harm to yourself. But it's, it's not, self-preservation is not just all about self. Um, some of my reading, um, we, it, it, it talked about, it, it, I, it, I read, where um, mothers, people who have children, who have think children or people that are dependent on them, they, they, they think in their terms of self-preservation because they believe that they um, are living to support or take care of someone else or their children, that their the children depend on them. And because their children depend on them, that's, what, that's how they feel why they must protect themselves. One of the things that I always um, told my son, you know, in, in his, in, in while he's raising his children, is that if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of nobody else. So you can't think that uh, I'm going to do everything for my kids. I'm going to do what my kids is going to have the best. They're going to, you know, I'm going to make sure that they have shoes on their feet. Meanwhile, you're not making sure that you have shoes on your feet. How can you take care of someone else if you can't take care of yourself? Logical thinking. That is what logical thinking is. But being kind to people is a part of self-preservation. If you can't be kind, if you can't love, if you, if you, you can't be kind, things are not going to go in your direction. You have to have, you, you'll, you'll feel some, some peace, some peace. You know how um, they talk about people when they um, make donations or, or, or looking out, you know, helping somebody out. But, but, you know, I seen the one picture where they, somebody was handing somebody something to help them out, but had their camera taking a picture of them helping somebody. That's, that, that's not putting into someone's bucket or putting into your bucket. That, that's not, and everybody knows what the bucket, well, everybody might not know what the bucket is, but kind words are... When you speak kind words to someone, that is putting something in their bucket, but it also, the feeling will come to you. You will get something in your bucket. Okay, so we're um, cutting up these apples. And you want about a pound's worth of apples cut up.
let, let me get back on to on, on, on the focus of this. Self-preservation is not the act of being selfless, selfish at all. In fact, it is all about being selfless with other ourselves and others. Setting limits and boundaries with kindness is the essence of self-preservation. Learning how to do this takes practice and time and with all changes, self-preservation is a process. I, I, I love, um, you know, researching the things that I'm sharing with you because, of course, it, it also helps me to learn. Um, and so it allows me to grow as a person. Self-preservation is one of the most important gifts we can give to ourselves by knowing our limits, honoring our needs and desires, and taking time to heal and repair. We are able to give ourselves more spark to radiate our internal life, our internal light. Again, you don't cross the street. Self-preservation is thinking about yourself. It is thinking about yourself, but not in a selfish way. Again, um, I've seen people, and, and we know people get hit by cars, trying to beat traffic. People have been killed. Because instead of sitting there and, and being patient, they say, I can beat this car. I can beat this car. That is not thinking about your well-being. That's why they have traffic lights at the corner for the crosswalk. So that you can all oh, patience and, and, and think and thinking thinking ahead is a part of the morality of self preservation. Okay, so now we have these apples we have these apples cut up. You know what I said I was going to peel one just to Peel one in front of everybody, so I'm going to do that still. They have these things that these tools that you can buy. The, I brought, I, I just, in fact, I went in the store and brought a peeler, but and it's and with the thing to um, take the core out of the apple, I poked the apple so that I can do all that, but that seemed like a struggle. So, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to show you what I did to peel the apple. Then I took and sliced the apple right down the middle. Now, but this time I used that, I, I went in here like this to decor the apple. And I stuck this thing in here to do it. But... It, it, it didn't even, it's not even working after I stuck that thing in there better than, than me doing it like this. I had this. It's supposed to be the perfect tool. But it didn't work for me. This was much easier to just do it like this. And now, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put these apples on the stove. I'm going to just put the apples in the pan. Put the apples in the pan. Oops, I see a seed. Oops. So four. Look at the seed I see. We don't want people eating apple seeds. They'll think we didn't take our time. And we can take our time. Okay. So now we have the apples in the pot, in the pan. We don't need this. Okay. Now I know that I'm going to need some butter for that. Apple 
Journey to Pan. This is one of the song. I put I put like a teaspoon of the butter, a tablespoon of butter into the pan with the apples. a quarter teaspoon of some cinnamon. So, oh, okay there. So, I'm putting a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon in there. That goes in there with the apples. And I need one third cup of sugar. third cup of sugar. Lemon juice. I only need a quarter teaspoon. So now I have on the stove I have my apples, granny apples, and granny apples. In fact, what I'm going to do change the camera angle. So, let me get this together guys and I'll be right with you. Now folks, so now we're over here with our apples. We have our apples in with the cinnamon and the sugar and the butter. And we're just, what do you say, cooking them up. Oh, I love the way they look. They look fantastic. They're coming right along. So we're going to let them do their thing here. And I'm going to stir occasionally so that they all get nice and tender for the apple galette. I think that looks fine. So we're moving right along. Apple Colette, and the subject matter is self preservation. Okay, okay. Now, what I have to do is um, we're going to roll the dough. So that's been in that's been in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. So now we're going to jump on that. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And uh, yes, that's what we'll do. We'll roll, and I guess I'll roll it up here. Ooh, do I want to roll it up here? I guess I will. I guess I will. Because that the apple the apples are, are, are doing its thing in the uh, in the pot. Let me give one more stir. They do smell good. Now, I'm going to pull the dough out of the refrigerator and I'm going to I'm going to oh, 
because we need some flour to throw on here. I truly have never used this counter to do to roll the, to do the fire do this yet on the counter, but we get ready to see. I have a little bit more flour right there. So and I did pull out my rolling pin. That's out here. So yes, there you go. And let's do this. Because this is how this is supposed to be done. Put a little flour on there. Yeah. Whoa. to move it around to make it nice and round. See, I gotta get that flour on there so that it doesn't stick to the roller. Oh, that's right, I was put the, I would have technically put some flour right here on the roller. Come on, baby. Do what you're supposed to do. Do like you're supposed to do. Because I got to make this nice and round so that it will do what it's supposed to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. turned the apples off because they're ready. I turned them off. Look at that steam. And they smell nice. They smell nice. So the apples are ready and we're going to sit that there and let them cool. Let me get this dough right so that they spread right. Mm. Right. See, I should have used the um, countertop behind me because that's a little more slippery. But now it's flattening out the way. I want it to flatten out, so it's going to be a matter of peeling it up from here because it is definitely like, like I want it as far as flat, nice and thin. It is there. That. It, it is there. Now, I want to get it to come up. Oh yeah, come on baby, come on baby, come on baby, come on, come on baby, come on baby, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on baby, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It looks like a struggle, guys, but it's up, it's on the roller. Now that I have it on the roller, I have the cookie sheet, the cookie sheet with the parchment paper on it. Now, the objective is to put this on here. 
like this. Oh, uh, uh, I got some holes in it, but that is what I want to do. That's what we want to do. We'll take, I'll take and take some pieces off of here and put in my little spots that got the little holes in it. Put a little piece there. Put a little piece there. And, but this is what we want it to look like, guys. We want it to be rolled out onto the parceling paper. Now, what we want to do, do I have, and I have a spoon right here. We're going to take this and we're going to set the apples. We're going to spread the apples onto here, like this. Apple galette, self-preservation, being kind to others setting goals for yourself, avoiding distress and depression. Because if you don't take care of yourself, if you're worried about money, if you're worrying about the roof over your head, if you're worrying about your next meal and go into a state of a depression, you're not going to put yourself in a position to get those things because you're not taking care of your mind and your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this is, has to be spread, spread out like this. And I'm going to um, fold the edges on the dough around the apples. It's, it's looking like what it's supposed to look like. Looks a little crazy, but now I'm going to fold. Yes, this is what it's supposed to look like. It is looking like what it's supposed to look like. I was concerned, but this is how the apple galette is supposed to look. That is what it's supposed to look like. Now, what I'll do, what I'm going to do is I need an egg to do an egg wash. So I'll just pop over here. Let me see. Yep. Plus this egg. I don't need to do anything special to it besides Whip it up. It's, you know, I don't have to season it because all it is is an egg wash. So I'm just whipping the egg up in here. Then I take the brush and wash the edges. Now, and then I'm going to go over here and preheat my oven at 425 so this can go in there for like 20 minutes. But also after the, during the egg wash, now I have to um, whip up some 
I'm going to whip up some uh, I'm going to whip up some sugar and cinnamon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the flour. Here's the sugar. So I'm going to like a quarter cup of sugar into that bowl and I'm just going to sprinkle some cinnamon in there cinnamon sugar mix that up a little bit mix the cinnamon sugar up a little bit now right on the edges right on the edges Sprinkle of the cinnamon sugar. Now folks, I'm going to heat the oven up and throw this in and then we'll see the finished product. So I'll be right back folks. Thank you. So folks, as I said, I love when stuff comes together. And we are together. Here's the apple collette. Apple collette. Now, um, I say to finish this dish off with you is the, the caramel glaze. And the caramel glaze, that's a half a cup of sugar, teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of butter which we'll put on the stove and let that rock and so um, while, while, that's, while that's doing that let's talk about what we we're talking about um, let's finish up on what we we're talking about self-preservation um, the fact that um, you have to it has to develop in you uh, pres you know pre preserving your inner self Finding your inner light by thinking, taking care of yourself, but giving, giving to others, to what would I say? Put put some, put in their bucket, because when you put in their bucket, it comes back to your bucket. So that is a, a, a philosophy of self-preservation. So again, we have the um, sugar, salt. And the butter on. Oh yeah. We're gonna let that. We're gonna let that do its thing. And um, by the time the butter and the sugar all melt down, then we'll put this half a cup of heavy cream in it. Let that boil for a minute. Then we'll be ready to drizzle this here apple galette. So, right now, we're just going to hold off for a second and let this, well, it's starting to sizzle up. Um, well, actually, since it's melted down, it's melted down, I'm going to put the half a cup of heavy cream in there and we're still going to bring this to a boil. Heavy cream is mixed. All I'm waiting for it to do is turn brown. So I can dribble, drizzle. And, and actually, I was nervous about this because of the way the dough was sticking to it. I cause to my wood counter when I meant to do it on my flamica. But it still came out beautiful. All we got to do is throw some glaze on it. Cut a piece out of it, taste it. Mmm. That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're hoping for. Okay, self preservation was the type of topic of today's life lesson. And again, self preservation is not the act of being selfish at all. In fact, it's all about being selfless 
with ourselves and others. Setting limits and boundaries with kindness is the essence of self-preservation. Leaving, learning how to do this takes practice and time. Self-preservation is a process. So we know it's a process. Um, we're going to think about ourselves. Think about living. Think about being the best we can be for ourselves. For ourselves, for our own self-preservation. But kindness to others fills our bucket and fills theirs. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, I did what I was supposed to do. Look, smoking, I, I guess I cooked it. This is the caramel. Oh yeah, it's caramel, because I can smell it's caramel. It's just smoking. Anyway, so we're gonna wrap up this apple galette by doing the caramel on it. I'm gonna take this spoon, oh yeah, and then I'll just drizzle this on here like that. This is sugar, salt, heavy cream that made the caramel. I'm supposed to, just, I'm supposed to be all pretty with it, but I guess this is pretty. It's on there. Ooh, that one had a lump. All right. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to do it like that. I don't want to spill it all over the place. So I did that in there. This, the apple galette. Now, I have to do, I have to cut a piece before I sign off. So, I'm going to sign off like this. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from our life lesson on self-preservation and how to make apple galette. Apple galette, everybody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. Talk to you soon. Oops. Um, oh, this is good, and that is caramel. Bye, folks.